Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. King. We have a great show lined up for you. One of our guests for tonight is arguably the Kenyan version of Aki and Popo. As in, his life story is a movie not yet documented. And one of my favorite stories of him was an incident uh, of him at the age of 12 where he stole uh, the only village tractor. And Mark you, Hajui could drive. And when I say I, he stole a village tractor, he only came ule ule the evangelist. Kaleka evangelist Kadogo Kainge Wilson na katoke nandege. Alijiamini tuna observation za vitu wanaonanga mwenye tinga tinga akifanya. Hiyo story wacha tuya tatuambia epe keake. And because there is so much drama in his life that his sister, who is 20 years younger than him, was recently on record talking about the legend. Unadanganya, uwezi kuimba kwa kanisa. Mbona sema 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 kwa kanisa? Tabia zako. Mbona sema tabia zako nubaya? Ulisumbua mama kitamu. Unanungulisha kuna unajomi ni mkubu wako? Unakuambia ukweli. That's his younger sister Bridget. Here for the second time, one of the funniest people I know, my friend, Comedian YY, is in the house. Ah. Another interesting thing about this episode is that I managed to get his mom on the show too. She is the witness to all the drama and the turning point. Mama YY is in the house. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Asante sana. That's not all. Our other guest um, on the show is a professional teacher and a counselor at Kiambu High School. On top of that, she's special to this show in very many ways. Before the end of this episode, I'll tell you about the heaviest. She is a true advocate for behavior change, and she has seen very many young people change for the better to become upright members of the society. Mrs. Lydia Nguere is in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Asante Nisana. I'd also like to give a warm shout out to our friends at Telcom Kenya, who for the past few months have given us some good news to share with you. I'm talking about the lowest call rates in the market right now, one shillings and 50 cents across all networks. I'll tell you more about that in a bit. But first, Nuobi Nuakota, an elderly woman from Nigeria, is making headlines after she finally got married at old age. I'm talking over 60 years. The reason being, she was waiting for a Catholic man. As in, yes, she made a vow that she would only marry a Catholic man. So I said to find out what could be so special about a Catholic man that would make a woman wait for one to her 60s. Then it hit me that this lady was probably looking for a man out of this world. And a Catholic man is a man from Mars. Now, <laughs> and not only that, and not only that, in, in, Catholic, in the Catholic Church is where you can be sure to find a good father. The irony in this, though, is that uh, all of them are single fathers. Now the lady uh, claims that amejaribu kukatiwa, amejaribu kukatiwa na watu Anglican na kanisa zingine akakata. So she stuck to waiting for a Catholic man. I believe this is because in the Catholic Church hakuna wana umewakuruka ruka. Aya sawa. In other news, the newly appointed CS for Agriculture, um, Peter Munya, or Mwangi Kyunjuri 2, as he is now known, was on the spot this week for this statement he made on the locusts problem. Iso nzige vile siko ni sa yellow. Iso yellow color. Na maanisha ni nzige wazee. Kimezeeka karibu sikufe. Now, I honestly think that Bwana CS is taking the concept of kwashimu wazee too far. For real. Now, there are people who have disputed the analogy that the yellow locusts are old locusts. Rather, the color is to distinguish between male and female locusts. In which case, basi serikali itaki vita na light skin. My only, <laughs> my only problem with Munya's statement is uh, the double standards in it. In the context of giving a situation time, how can the CS advise Kenyans wangoje locusts ikufe na ye ataku ngoja NASA ikufe? <laughs> Munya was in NASA for like 20 minutes. Na katoka. Imagine the CS for defense using Munya's analogy to solve a crisis by giving it time. At uh, this Al Shabab problem is no cause to worry. In 500 years, I can assure you that there will be no more. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you worried about the government borrowing? Let us take the money. In 500 years, how to kuwa na deni yamutu? Think about it. And, and also, one of the biggest stories uh, on NTV this week is this story of a chief in Migori County who has resorted to physical marriage counseling to deal with cheating husbands. Whoever wants to stay here must respect, obey laws and rules of the land. In my area, Arujo Lokezo, 
we don't want the randy couples chief ndio ananisaidia sana ametandika mbaya kwanza hapo mzee yangu jioni saa 11 amesaingia kwa nyumba wanaume wachapwe watandikwe chief akipata kitu kama hiyo kiboko hata akikaa kwa nyumba ma... Two weeks kama atembei kama saa hii mimi niko na usuni mwingi sana nimepotesa rais wangu nilie mpenda sana na saa hii niko na furaha nachukua bibi ya mtu ati anaenda naye kwa kwa, kwa userati hiyo kiboko ichapwe waja waja sasa what does moi dying have to do with the cheating couple <laughs> Now first of all it's all good it's a good initiative I only feel for the men who when it uh, comes to getting home as in I feel for the men when it comes to getting home by 6 pm as in wanaume mnajua utahepaje squad yako yenye mmezo ya kukaa nao mpaka saa 4 usiku ati ye wazee leo mimi ni kama nafaa kuingia home mapema alafu uwezi wambia ni kwa nini ni gani hizo buda unaingiaje kwa nyumba mapema kama kuku <laughs> eh kuna mahali kesho narauka <laughs> kumbe ni chifa na kurausha wanaume wamejipata na kafio kurudi home by 6 inamaanisha <coughs> you are home uh, right on time for supper chief ataki mambo ya kukula nje now that said that said that said there are thousand bob uh, telcom airtime i promise to give out on the show goes out to elijah amova he said uh, kwa hiyo swali niliuliza ya who do you call na thousand bob airtime baka ishe alisema their last born is ha- their last born sister is having a wedding so akip- nikimpea kedo ya thao ya telcom uh, it will come in handy for her plans as she is based in county 001 hiyo ni Mombasa akasema tafadhali tumsort na ni kweli for thousand bob airtime going for one shillings and 50 cent you can actually plan a whole wedding and that's courtesy of telcom the lowest call rates in the market right now and it's very easy kama uko na line yako telcom just load it up with airtime and then subscribe by dialing star 544 hash and subscribe to your preferred package aya now we had planned for a totally different topic for this week then an opportunity for a great story showed up We have three guests for this episodes and this is one of the stories I'm extremely excited about even before we do it. We managed to get my friend comedian YY and his mom on the show. We also have a very special guest Mrs. Lydia Ngwere, a professional counselor and a teacher. Now to make the best out of this story, please allow me to extend this conversation to the second part of the show. So see you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Akinaambia one of the subjects to my panga kwa show alafu I'm really excited to talk about ni hii for personal reasons. Kuna stories nimekutana nazo. Siwezi penda kusikia peke yangu. So without much further ado, our guests wa leo ni uh, Mrs. Lydia Ngwere ama Mama Kevo. Tuko na Margaret Adhiambo ama Mama Waiwai and one comedian Waiwai. Wapi makofi yao? Asante sana, asante sana for joining us. Karibu, karibu sana. Asante. Karibu sana. Ah, karibu. And uh, yes sir. So the 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 the, the last time mm-hmm. tulikuwa na Mama Kevo ama niseme Mrs. Lydia Ngwere was when you invited me to talk to Kiambu high school students yeah. uh, mm-hmm. just to give a talk kuongea yeah. nao for a counseling session. Yeah, yeah. It was so much fun mm-hmm. and I saw your passion ya kuongelesha watu mm. na ku change mavijana yeah. alafu uh, mama wai wai hapa eh, zile kisira nitu wamepitia nimezisikia <laughs> second hand second hand kabisa jakabuda sorry <laughs> nimemzoea hivyo <laughs> cheki yeah. history ya tinga tinga nilianza nayo kwa show na ndio wasi wa get two picture ya history i think unaweza tuambia tu ni nini ili happened before ufikie tinga tinga ya wenyewe hiyo day tulikuwa tume ilikuwa, uh, ilikuwa around july yes so watu walikuwa wamevuna njugu yes so njugu made alikuwa na kanga atuko na storage so mamiti ziko za pangajua alafu njugu na kwa juu na gunia so njugu nilikuwa nalibanga kidogo kidogo na toboa kashimo kajuka na nguka so kuna siku nilitoboa hivi ikaitoboa yote njugu yote ka come down so seriously you reach hizi njugu juu the only option ni kupotea ukahepa nikahepa so ile nimehepa na jioni mepa na sisi rudi home njia yeah. pia nitandika yes so the only thing you tulikuwa tunapika nje nilikuwa yes. na time made amepika ugali sijua ameendia sahani ndani na yes. kimbia na pa, na beba yote in fact siko na mwachia ta kidogo <laughs> <laughs> na beba mbaka ya kesho kwa <laughs> zilikoshua kesho siko eh <laughs> eh so the next day nakuja na iba uniform 
Na unajua uniform uko kuna socks, kuna viatu, kuna kinyasa na kuna shati. Mm. Yes. Na buda uwezi ingia kwa nyumba unajua ukitai lazima utaimu kama ayuko. <laughs> yes. Na uwezi ingia kwa nyumba tu zitafuta zote. Mm. Unatafuta ile yenye time inaweza get. Yes. So ukiingia sekunde moja unatoka una na shati unatoka nje. Yes. Una time kama kama ayuko around unatoka na kinyasa unatoka. Yes. Sasa muda unajua kuna time fulani utaki makosa. Mm. Yaani utaki. Mm. Wewe ni mkijana mzuri tu. <laughs> wewe hata wewe utaki vitu mbaya zikufanyikie. Yeah. Yaani unajiuliza ni nini mbaya na mimi jamii. Ni nini? Ni nini? Sasa sasa nimetoka asubuhi na shule. Kesi ya njugu ime ningoja vizuri. Iko pending. Yeye iko pending. Yes. Sasa nikatoka nenda shule asubuhi saa 12. Kafita mali, tinga tinga imesema mapo. Yes. Bro na fatu ni shule nisome. Eh. Ba sasa najiambia hii kitu tingatinga na wanangu msia kuja na toa kwanza mawe. <laughs> Alafu anakanyaga ndani. <laughs> Kisha kanyaga ndani. Jo iko na nini haiko anga na ki. Eh. Inakanyaga ndani. Eh. Alafu kibala zivi kidogo kana inatoka. Inatoka. Yes. So nikatoa mawe. Nikaanza kukimbia nikaruka juu ya badala niepe nikaingia ndani. <laughs> Ukaingia ndani ya tinga tinga. Ukaingia ndani ya tinga tinga bro. Before you work tuliko tuli niliboma fence mzima. Fence. Fence mzima. <laughs> Lakini madhe wewe uli experience hiyo kitu yote. Na inamaanisha ile siku ya tinga tinga uko na kesi ya njugu alafu umekutana na kesi ya tinga tinga. Uli dealage na mwenye tinga tinga. Na haukuwa hapo hata. Sasa mimi nilikuwa tu kwa nyumba. Nashtokea mtu wa tinga tinga anakuja na squad ya watu. Sasa najiuliza ni ah hao watu ni wa campaign ama ni watu wa <laughs> Sasa kukuja wananiambia ati sisi tumetoa tinga tinga kijana wako amefungua tinga imeto, yeah, imetoka imetoka tunataka utulipe ile pesa yenye tumetoa nayo tinga tinga pale ndani nikawaambia mimi si kuambia muache tinga tinga bila kufunga nyinyi tinga tinga gani inatembelewa bila ki yeah. eh? si na mtoto wangu angekufa mungenilipa sasa ah. wakatoka wakaenda shule. Wakaachana na wewe. Wakaachana na mimi, wakaenda kwa shule. Wakamwendea sasa. <laughs> e. Waende wa deal na yeye huko. Sasa kufika huko, <laughs> kumbe hakuwa nasoma. <laughs> Alikuwa tu hako kwa class ana, anatazama hivi. Ana jua vitu amefanya. Na akaona driver wa tinga tinga kikuja na hao ma squad. Mm. Yes. Akaruka nje ya drisha. Na akapotea. Hapana mwalimu bado anashindwa huyu anakimbia nini. Sasa ule kuingia kwa gate, hiyo gate alikuwa anasomea academy. Yes. Sasa kuingia hapo bado aongea hapo kwa gate. Huyo akawaambia endeni tu kwa headmaster muongee. Kwenda pale headmaster akawafukuza akawaambia hiyo ni kesi ya nyumbani. Msilete hapa. Hii eh, inanileta kwa mm. eh, mama Kevo. Yeah. Wewe una deal ume deal na psychology ya watu hii na vile yeah. wasee wanafikiria. Mm, mm, mm. Ukiona kesi kama hiyo mm. hakuna makosa zingine mnaonanga hii ni shetani alidanganya mtu. <laughs> <laughs> Muelewe the situation during the adolescent stage. Yes. Pre adolescence that is upper primary and during secondary. Yes. Children will go through rebellion. Okay. Which we call normal rebellion. Okay. Because they are trying to fight their own values. Yes. They are trying to fight their own beliefs. Yes. They are trying to find their own independence. They are asking themselves, who am I and what am I capable of doing? Yes. So in the process, they must question the authority of the parent okay. and the authority of the teacher. Yeah, now the problem is, we the parents do not understand it is normal. We overreact on it. Kwa hivata ikuangi makosa yetu kama watoto ni science. <laughs> it is is the psychology of that child at that particular time yes. what they they have a conflict within them they are trying to resolve that conflict within them hakuna mama anataka mtoto wake akose yes you want them to be straight, straight yes. but unfortunately they are human beings yes. so they experiment here and there so like now he is running away because he is going to be beaten whatever yes. happens It doesn't matter he's going to be beaten yes. which is okay he is going to be beaten but you know there is that fear because i have been beaten i have been beaten until now i am not ready for it anymore yes, yes, yes. so okay. if we overreact on it it becomes abnormal rebellion now ah. he gets lost completely na madhe kuna mahali kiboko ilikuwa inawaka <coughs> kuna vitu ulikuwa na, alikuwa anafanya unamtandika anaingia laini mm. nilikuwa namtandika lakini laini ukimtoa hapa <laughs> anaenda hapa ukimtoa hapa anaenda hapa sasa nikashindwa sasa hata hapo sasa alikuwa class 7 sasa mimi naona saa saba arudi na breakfast anatoka kwa nyumba kama sha kunywa lunch arudi hakuji lunch hakuji lunch na shule ilikuwa sasa ni 
dakika tano tu nafika si mbali hiyo academy sasa nikaanza kufanya uchunguzi nikafanya uchunguzi sasa nashtukia baada ya mwezi moja naletewa bili ya elfu <laughs> Una choma, una choma, una choma. 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 No, na adaptation kaka. Eh, yeah, yeah. adaptation. Yeah. Nikajua ku survive sasa huko nje. Mm. Yes. The way to survive nilikuwa na kuna watu fulani walikuwa na wao walikuwa ni shingi mbali. Mm. Watu wa principal. Unajua sisi atuko wadosi. Mm. Yes. So watu wa principal walikuwa mm. tapanga mbali but walikuwa wanalipiwa ngo kote. Oh, yes. End month. Mm. Walikuwa wanalipiwa ngani mwana kula tu alafu end month. Mm. Yes. So nikaingia pale nikamwambia niaje? Eh, mamangu ndana kwa chief hapa. <laughs> <laughs> kwanza kidili hapo nilikuja kwanza home nikaiba so yake ndo niende niekelee ule kwa hoteli wa trust yes. so hiyo so nikaenda nayo nika flaunt nika chapa chapati tatu chapati mbili eh. already in shared perception that our repair ni wadosi kwa wao eh, eh, eh. so by the time nilikuwa na kuongea sasa mamangu sasa ameamua kuanzia leo ni kuwe na kula alafu nampea bill end month mm-hmm. na ndio chief hapa yes. <laughs> <laughs> wakakubali nikaingia so mother shall realize mali na kulanga So kenda hapa kambi wana kujanga kukaribu kukuja. Eh. <laughs> Mimi ndio huyu kanisa hata hata kanisa sikufanye siku ngoja imalizike. Nitoka katikati niende nichape. Unajua ile huko kanisa unajiuliza nini nanifurahisha? Mbona nimefurahi? Mbona nimefurahi? Mbona nimefurahi? Unakumbuka ah. Mbona baba? Unakumbuka ah bado kuna chapati sijakula. Mbona nimefurahi? Eh. Nikaingia hapo. Sasa kwanza nikazungukia mbali. Mm. Eh kulikuwa na dema pale alikuwa na alikuwa na beshte. Mm. Sasa nikaingia nikamwambia, "Unajua hiyo time hii kitu ndio sasa nilikuwa imeingia." Kwa hiyo msema narudi, sahi? Kumbe mada kwa wapi? Ako hapo ndani. Yes. Muda leo ndio hiyo siku kumbe. Mimi na mimi Aujui. na sijui. Nazunguke ile mlango mwingine. <laughs> Lakini Mungu ni nani? <laughs> When I say let children come to me. Anapenda watoto. Ile kitu alikuwa amepanga. Mungu aliondoa. Nikaingia kwa hoteli. Nikaambiwa nikauliza wana nataka nini nikasema kama kawaida. Nikaambiwa acha uletayo nikasema acha nikaa hapa nje juu hapa nasikia ni kama kuna joto. Nasijai kula nje. Wanaenda ah kuna kwanza. Kuna hapa utarogo hapo nje kuna warogo. Nikamwambia ah. Nikaenda pale nje. Mother alikuwa amejificha kwa unaona ocha yes. kuna kuwa na mabati fulani wana ndio ndio windi sikuje kwa jikoni wanaenda yeah. mabati fulani alafu yeah. kuni hapo yeah. so mother amejificha hapo mm. hizi mabati shida si mpya yeah. ilishatumika walishapiga piga katoboka so yeah. naangalia hivi naona nywele <laughs> <laughs> that is the last time nilikula hapo <laughs> buda lifestyle yangu ilishuka drastic unajua mm. hata si ku expect ati sasa leo ndo siku yangu ya mwisho kukula hapo na sasa mama yeah. kivu mm. eh, with such yeah we, we we deal na kesi extreme kama hii with the other people's children yes, yes, not yes. my own yes yeah na, na how maybe do you uh, what do you think <coughs> contributes to such hiyo kuenda mm. extreme levels yeah. za mm. kesi mm. like unafanya makosa mpaka unajiambia wacha tu ufanye makosa zingine ukuwe na dhambi collective every behavior has a cause there is no behavior without a cause yes. so what if 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 this child was brought to me as a counselor yes. would draw look at the root cause of all the problems of all the problems because yes. all behavior is caused so there must be a root cause of the problem so that is what we shall analyze with the child until we come to a conclusion for him to understand this is the problem and me understand this is the problem yes. then we try to look for solution yes. so there is always a reason for behavior and that is what we look for what is the reason behind this behavior ah yes. nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> so kuna people who appreciate the beating later in life almost everybody yes. appreciates the beating later in life but not when they are young ah yes. na madhi <coughs> why why aliniambia kuna alikuwa anajua mkitoka mbio 
unaweza mshika tu bado hmm. ni vile ulikuwa unamwachia tu mahali hmm. ya kusambia kama hiyo timing hiyo ilikuwa idea poa sana hiyo hmm. kama si mabati ilikukosea hiyo hiyo ilikuwa idea nzuri sana yeah. sasa kama uki, uki, ukijipata ukikumbuka memories kama hiyo siku yenye ulim time ukajua leo ndio siku na mshika hmm. Ukimshika na makosa kama hizo ya tinga tinga plus ya hoteli B mm. zote pamoja unaweza mfanyia nini? Mm, Ungemfanyia nini? <laughs> Tingemfanyia kitu juu. Shosho yake aliniambia niende ni confirm kwanza. Ah. Ni slip ni bill bila ku confirm alikula yes. ama hajakula ndio ilinifanya nikaenda kujificha pale. Sasa watu wakafunga shule. Wacha watu wafunge shule nikamwambia mtoto wangu sasa tuko tu na wewe baba yako ayu mm. hayuko. Sasa vile watu wamefunga shule amwendi tuition nisaidie kidogo tukienda shamba namwambia tupalilie hapa anaangalia hii shamba yote hii shamba yote eh anatupa jembe ndio anaenda eh kwenda nyumbani siku ya kwanza nikamsamea siku ya pili nikamwambia discipline ndio inatakikana hapa eh. mm. mtoto mwenye afanyi kazi ya fai kukula kesho kama uendi shamba utakula jasho yako Yes. Nikapika nikapika uji, nikapika nika pika viazi, nikabeba nikaenda nayo kwa shamba. Yes. Kwenda nayo kwa shamba. Sikujua naniona, sikujua penye alitokezea. <laughs> Mimi ni <laughs> anakula, anakula na ananiangalia. Kumaliza. Nasikia ananiambia, "Thank you, mother." <laughs> nikaona sasa hakuna haja ya kuficha ki hakuna haja ya kufanya kila kitu sasa kuambia hao watoto wenye wanabaki nyumbani na naoelezea hao wenye wamemaliza form 4 wakubwa kubwa siku moja nikamtolea watoto sita wa mfate mpio ai siku mbili kumpati <laughs> ulipeana contract ya <laughs> hey. kumpati sasa Kabisa. kuna mtoto wa shemeji wangu mwingine alikuwa anapiganga karate anapiganga karate. Ukamtia Jackie Chan. Hapana? E. Alikuwa shule. E. E. Sasa akakuja nyumbani akaniambia, "Ebu nipatie hiyo kazi." <laughs> ukafuta uka, ukafuta wale wengine. Akaniambia nipatie hiyo kazi ni kufanyia. Huyu sasa nataka kumwonyesha, mimi najua kunyorosha, nikamwambia nyorosha. E. Sasa siku moja akakosa hiyo 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 wiki tu. Akasimama hapa na akamwambia, "Ebu simama hapo." Akamhesabia, "Wai wai anamwangalia hivi." E. Anamwambia, "One, two, Three, start wai wai alikimbia <laughs> alikimbia kafika pale pengine ilikuwa msitu sasa kufika pale aliruka tu kwa hizo miba chua akaanza kuangalia ule huko hivi huyu akarudi nyumbani akaniambia madhe a a nimeshinda na hauko umemlipa bado i hope sasa singelipa nilipa ah. <laughs> history 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 ya dragnet hii yeah. contract ulikomekewa ya wasi wa kukutafuta walikuwa wasita si ndio mm. ulihepaje kulikuwa mm. na story behind that ilikuwa movie by the way this is a true story yeah. kanta umrefu umrefu una sinilimrukia fence ya mwiba mm. huyu mwingine akanitwaambia tukafika mali kwa junction hivi nikachukua slippers moja nikaweka hapa nikaweka hapa nikapanda juu ya mti ah <laughs> so a juu meenda faidi gani after that nika, by then nika change tena na nikatandika watu class 7 nikatandika watu class 8 nikaingia high school kizaza sasa cinema mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sasa when we go to high school um, uh, i was a very bright student but nilijipata nilikuwa chiki the excess i was not into bad in discipline cases ya kuvuta nini sijai try hizo <coughs> na ni yes. kweli mm-hmm. pombe sigara unaweza acha bila kungangana mm-hmm. lakini <laughs> <laughs> so to kafika form 3 mamango waka na, na my 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 aunt and aunt dorothy and uh, and jacob and and uncle gordon so hao uh, wakasema ah wacha tum transfer tum rudisha shule nyingine waka rudisha sasa shule nyingine form 3 wiki ya kwanza nisha sneak nisha kimbia nikajifanya mwenda zimu nika sneak nikajifanya mwenda zimu so madha ki napigia madha alafu namwambia goja ivo eh ndio sasa mulira nilishikia wapi akajua mimi siwe na zimu unimfanya nini ndio sasa unajua hapo penye sneak 
sasa alienda kalala kwa nyumba ingine hapo karibu na shule ingine hapo inaitwa Kobila High School mm. sasa hiyo shule kijana mwenye alikuwa amemweka kwa nyumba akamwambia hii nyumba hautatoka bila kuli bila kulipa ndio sasa tuka, tukatafuta mbinu za kumpata tukatuma mapolisi wakaenda wakamshika hapo tukaompata kindu police station sasa kuenda huko natoka nyumbani nikampata wamempatia nini anafyeka sasa wakaniambia huu mtoto hajafika hata 18 years mm. tafadhali chukua mtoto enda dae shule usikie ni nini ilimfanya sasa nikabeba yeye nikapeleka yeye kwa shule kufika kwa shule mwalimu akamwambia hebu andika hapa vile ulisnik unipatie akaandika na tukapewa 2 weeks suspension sasa kukuja nyumbani tena ndiyo tunarudi kwa kesi Yes. Yo kesi sasa vile tulimaliza tunaambiwa roll moja ya singenge hiyo barbed wire mm. na, na, na hizi poles mm. tupeleke. Sasa tukapeleka hiyo hiyo kabla tupeleke sasa tuko na yeye nyumbani. Nikaona sasa kiboka isaidi mtoto nini mm. hakuna. Nikakaa na yeye nikamuuliza mtoto wangu sasa tufanye namna gani. Kaongea tu na yeye vizuri. Eh nikaongea tu na yeye sasa nilionanga na niogopa sasa nikaanza kukaribia yeye na kucheka. Sasa asikasirike na mimi. <laughs> Kaa kaniambia mama mimi chenye nakwambia mimi naogopanga kiboko. Mm. Hao watoto wa shule waliambiwa wanichape, wanishike, wanipeleke kwa mwalimu anichape. Ndio ilinifanya nikasini mm. na nisnik. Mm. Sasa kutokalala siku ya kwanza si kuongea. Siku ya pili akakuja kwanza kwangu akaniambia mama, "Aki umekuwa ukinifanyanga vibaya unanichapanga kila siku." Lakini kuanzia leo nakwambia tafadhali usiwe utakuwa kila saa hata una ukiona mtu anataka kunichapa unachua, unakuwa against me. Tafadhali nitetee mm ili one day pia mimi nitasimama kwa, kwa nini moja na wewe sitakuacha mm -hmm. nitakafahamu kwa wewe nitakudefend maiza yako mm -hmm. nikamuuliza na sasa wewe hata nikutetee utakaaje hebu jaribu tu kunitetea mama na usijaribu nikamwambia sawa kafika siku hiyo ya kwenda shule tukaenda sasa akasomewa makosa yake sasa walimu hao ma disciplinary committee mm -hmm. wakakuja walimu watano mm -hmm. Sasa akaanza aka kuelezewa hii makosa yake. Sasa nikawaambia, sasa mimi kwa kusema ukweli, hii ndio mara yangu ya kwanza kuwa na kesi kwa hii shule yenu. Mm. Eh, hey, juu mtoto ametoka Gorosare, sasa amekuja kwa hii shule yenu. Sasa chenye mtafanya, mimi ndio mama yake. Nafungua uwanja na kiboko. Nisaidieni na kiboko kama mko nayo ni rarwe. Bele yenu ndio mjue hata sema utamtetea. Hapana nilikuwa tu nabembeleza juu nikisema itamchapa hata nitoroka nyumbani. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Sasa nikamchapa hapo viboko, nikamchapa hapo viboko na mwanzo mwanzo kama si hiyo, mwanzo mwanzo vile alikuwa na kosanga sasa juu sasa singemtetea vile alikuwa na mwanzo mwanzo alikuwa na anajifanyanga anajificha pale ananiimbia kama ashaona ame, amechelewa siku hata tatu njai na muuma hana cha kukula anaimba hapo i have decided <laughs> 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 hapo ndio nilijua huyu mtoto anadanganya tu jua ananiimbianga nafungua mlango mm. anaimba gospel yeah. anaimba mpaka naona sasa ameokoka mm. <laughs> lakini hakuna wokovu sasa siku hiyo vile nilimchapa hiyo mwisho sasa nikaenda visiting day kwenda visiting day nikapata mtoto ametoa shati amekaa kwa kivuli na kitabu na kalamu mtoto anasoma nikasema huyu ni kwa kujidanganyisha tu kumbe sasa alikuwa hapo amekanyagia sasa ameamua aliamua kabisa kabisa na katoka na B+ Oriwo Boys Shout out to you. Shout out to you. You've seen such cases. Yes, Some two yeah. anatoka mm. kwa kisirani, ana mm. transform, ana mm. kwa something, yeah, yeah. ama someone mm. mtu wa maana. Yeah. Na <coughs> inaitwaje such cases? Does that mean there's hope for everybody? Yes. Decisively. Yes, there is hope for everybody because all what we need to do yes. is to look at what is bringing problems and then we sit down and negotiate. Okay. It's not just a matter of beating. Actually, what parents need to do is from upper primary, let us change our discipline method. 
negotiate. Yes, we start yeah. negotiating with them. We open channels of communication. We stop being so critical so that we sit down with this child now and start arguing with them rather than just beating and sending away. But that's new because last I checked, governments don't negotiate with the terrorists. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is a child. This is not a terrorist. Okay. This is a child. And uh, the more we beat, the more we send away. Okay. So uh, the more we criticize, the more we send away. Yes. So we need to bring them. You, I've, I've heard what she said. Yes, yes. Bring them closer to you yes. so that you can sit down and understand one another. Yes. Then you start walking a journey. But before then, we are going nowhere. Okay. So discipline methods for secondary are not the same as for Prime, primary. Rua primary. We beat at rural <coughs> primary, but not again beating so much. Although the government does not allow to beat. Nowadays. It is yes. against the, the, law. the law. Yes. So you are supposed <coughs> to use all other methods of, of disciplining, but not beating. And then people are complaining that lack of beating do in Aribu are total squeezing. Uh, you know I mean? I belong to the old school. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so um, uh, I tell people, you don't beat, but take the child to the government. Later on. Ah, yes. police wata deal na yes. police wata deal na yeba na Asie funzwa na mama yake. Ata funzwa na urimu. Yeah, yes. mama ya mtu ndi atablenewa the most. Yes. <coughs> na sasa, when it comes to patients, mother, mm -hmm. wewe, wewe kuna mahali unifika ukasikia karibu ku give up on ye. Because unge give up on ye, hange kuwa sa hii yaba. Hange kuwa. Sasa unajua chenye kilikuwa, kilikuwa kinanifanya singe give na ye up alikuwa anga mtoto mwingine yani hata ni mchape kiasi gani haku hakukuwa rudi mbele yangu alikuwa tu na hiyo ukora ukora lakini kunijibu yes. ama kunitoroka na madharau ama yes. kunifanyia vile watoto wanafanya anga wazazi hakunifanyia yes. aliniogopa hapo yes 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 haya ya pili alijua kupika kama bado ako class 6 huyo huyu ni stima huyu tunamjua kwa 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 class 1 karanga mena hizi 6 years yes eh huyu karanga mena alikuwa na karanga mpaka unapata mepapa siku hizo nilikuwa na uzanga mtumba ungesema hata biryani uzango mena mm. na chenye nilikuwa nashindwa na hizi ku ya omena yes hautapata kama omena iko kwa sufuria ameweka kwa bowl kabisa hiyo mm. yes. sufuria sha kula ametoa tu omena amekula amenamba sufuria yote <laughs> <laughs> sasa vile nilikuwa nauza mtumba <laughs> anakuja sokoni kuniita mama nishapika funga tuende Kufika nyumbani na uliza, hebu leta omena nipapu. Nilisha pa kuwa na nimeosha sufuria. Mm. Kuhumbe ya melamba sufuria, melamba sufuria ya omena mpaka imebaki. Analamba ya kama steel wire. Yes. Analamba hata. Sasa arufu tunde itakufanya ujue. Eh, <laughs> omena ilipikiwa kwa hii sufuria. Mm. Na nisafi hile. Uyu. Eh, sasa. Mm. Izo ndezi likuwa zinafanya uone kuna hope kwa ke. Mm. Yes. Eh, hakuwa na nijibu. Hakuwa na ni, ananionyesha ni, ni madhara wingine. Yes. Yani alikuwa, na, mi nilikuwa na muona kama mtoto mwenye nikiongea hata ni mtuse alafu ni mfanye masikio hivi yes. ya naenda tu hivi hata inaonekana hiyo masikio <laughs> anaenda tu hivi <laughs> anaenda tu hivi yes. lakini hakuwa na niongelesha hapo mm. ni sisteme uongo mm. yes, yes, eh. yes, 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 yes. hapo alikuwa mzuri mpaka nikaona huyu mtoto wangu akigeuka haki kama yeye avuti hakunywi pombe mm. Sasa huyu mtoto wangu naona kama naweza kuwa mtu mzuri. Labda akiingia kwa wale maku, kwa, kwa yale makundi yenye wanakunywa kunywa pombe ndio ataribika. Mm. Sasa tangu akuje Nairobi ndio sijui baada ya kumaliza hiyo Rio Boys kama ameingia hiyo kundi is up to him. Yo, yo, yo naweza mtetea. Mtu wote anajua mimi yeye na Butita hakuna mtu anakunywa ama anavuta. Mwenye anajua please come forward. Hakuna. Na, na sasa mm. na we pia mm. as a teacher mm. do you observe make observations kama hizi za unaona mtu ni kisirani mm. but there is something about them mm. ya yeah, mm. yenye ina show ni mtu mzuri mm. lakini kuna shetani ndani mm. ku separate yes. between mm. shetani and mm. the person mm. yeah and uh, being the guidance teacher yes. and the counseling teacher that's what i observe in children okay unaona kuna utukutu kiasi but this is a good person yes. you can tell a good person ni vile tu kuna vitu zinamsumbua na zinampeleka kuelekea hiyo direction yes. but this is a good person so when you call them now as a teacher yes. and you tell them you are a good person because of a b c d but hapa na hapa na hapa unaegemea pande baya yes. they turn around and they listen and they listen
Yes. One of the greatest take home messages. <coughs> There is hope yeah. for everybody. Yes. And before we let you go, because I believe this message actually goes out to all our students who are high school, when you feel one and I could give up. Mm -hmm. Maybe you cannot, uh, nothing can become uh, of you. I don't think kuna. I don't think kuna mtu ameshuka below uh -huh. hizo levels za wai wai na kisirani mm. na for the this also goes out to parents when you feel ni kama unaweza give up kwa mtoi wako mm. yet labda unaweza lose kwa sababu ya the wrong format ya punishment ama the wrong format ya kudeal na problems zenye una face mm. jakabuda yes wewe nini ili ku ye ni ile kiboko ya <coughs> ile shule mpya anasema yes. ili inspire change wewe deep inside nini ili ku touch ukaamua sasa deep inside the truth is no matter how many times people talk to you no matter how many times people call or ku coach ama wa ku advise mm. ama ku mentorship yes it will not work if you do not decide this is what yeah. happens yeah. success and and results only come through self awareness mm. you have to accept that mm. you have a problem mm. as an individual you mm. have to accept mm. self awareness mm. self drive mm. and meditation mm. so i sat down Mali niko peke yangu nikaangalia yenyewe nao reality check mm. tuache tu mambo mengine reality check mm. let's uh, let me look at how my mom uh, is na hiyo time unajua alikuwa anakuja shule ana trek and alikuwa na alikuwa <coughs> alikuwa uh, expectant you know so i i i thought about those because nikifanya hizo vitu zingine nilikuwa uh, I, i was not seeing sikuwa naona beyond nilikuwa naona tu shule the fun we enjoy with our friends mm. and then i was not seeing anything beyond that point yeah. so for the for the first time this is what happened i i i i went to god now i sought god so personally nika and this is what i said nika 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 mwambia if i was once nika mwambia 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 samson ile aliomba apewe nguvu mara moja ya mwisho mm. it's samson Yes, we can be a god. <coughs> If I was wide, once a bright student. Eh, uh, then it means I might have just lost direction. Na kama when I was a bright student, eh uh, niliwahi that au nawe mtu ama ama ai nilitumia vibaya. Give it to me one more time. And he gave it to me. And it worked. Mm. Ah, was. Well, I think that's a, that's a solid point and that's 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 a very very good place. I'm just curious as mm. to uh, Mathe amesema kulikuwa na time unakamu unapiga gospel ya ku test the waters ndio <laughs> game. <laughs> Mungu alijuaje uko serious? <laughs> Bro Mungu anajua anga ukiwa serious mm. because kuna time mm. Buda mimi mimi ndamaka kwa zile mganga za posta. Zile zimeandikwa pale. Kuna mm. siku nime sneak mwalimu akaniona nje ya shule na civilian. So na jambe nikirudi shule ili kiboko. So niko na bestie yangu ndo Maxon. Maxon ndo kwambie ni aje. Twende kwa mganga atupe dawa huyu mwalimu asahau alikuona <laughs> na ule mganga pia kajiamini na akatupia tu powder akatwambia aende taja jina mwalimu akwambia Mr. Nyamodo yes. taja jina yake mara mbili alafu puliza <laughs> so tukaingia na confidence buda tukajiambia hata tu happy tunaingia shule na confidence tukiingia kwa fence yeah. Mr. Nyamolo Mr. Nyamolo <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure it didn't work because of course alikuwa yeah. bukora. Mm. But another reason why labda iku work pia. Maxon alianza kuitumia vibaya. Unajua mm -hmm. alikuwa na sauti kadogo. Yeah yeah why why? To Oliver Oliver. So uh, yeye yeah, kaanza kutumia vibaya kwa maadui zake sasa. Mm. Asola. Unakuranga biskuti yangu kila siku. <laughs> Ukitoka darasa leo uvunjike mguu. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> there's, there's something uh, very very important that has been coming out about the 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 the, the bringing up of why why yes church. We are going to church. Yes. I'm wondering why I'm happy in church. Yes. So which means from when he was young he was brought up in church. Yes. Those things do not disappear in a child's life. And that's why the Bible says train up a child when he's young and when he grows old he will never depart from it the foundation the foundation yes. so and when somebody now the uncle talks the sister talks the auntie talks the mother talks that time he is not hearing but he is hearing because self awareness comes from what was said and that's why we tell people never give up talking because the the maybe he is not responding now 
that message is getting into his brain. Yes, yes, yes. And one day, he'll come back to his senses. He'll come to a realization and make a decision. Because like he is saying, the person has to make a decision. Yes, yes, yes. But what makes the person make a decision is what has happened in the past as far as goodness is concerned. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Thank you very yeah. much. Now, Jakabuda, as we close, sorry not to me, Gina, but mm. as we close, Sinio, yes. say you can get the journey that you've gone through. Mm. Unes amombia nini leo? Mm. I'm so proud of mm. what she, make, she made me become. Mm. I'm so proud of her as a mm. person and Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Asante, Asante, Asante san. Asante san. Asante san. That's, that's too strong. Mm. That's too strong. Asante ni sana. Na asante ni sana kwa kuona, invite yetu ya leo. Mother God haku bless sana. Uh, mama Kevo pia, God haku bless sana. Because mm. Mama Kevo ali raise <coughs> boys moja na itua Kevo. Kevo tume fight na ye battles mob sana. And uh, pia Kevo ame... He's part of the team. Kevo ndio produce our Wicked Edition. Na tulianza kuwak nae from the trend back in the days. And mm. Kevo, there's so many ways Kevo is responsible for this show being what it is right now. He's a major contribution. YY is a personal friend of mine. And I really felt this show, uh, itakuwa, itakuwa, itakuwa nzito sana. It's one of the subjects nikiwambia, nikianza, it was something I'm very, very passionate about. Yani, this is one of the best, if not the best, we have ever done. Mm. And thank you for our studio audience who come home, who uh, come show. Asante ni sana kuyu. Thank you. Thank you for you guys at home pia kwa kutu trust. Because Mulisha Jua decided to mwalete a show. You trust that it is a good show. And I believe we are all, we've always lived up to your expectations. And I would also like to give a special thank you to the people who make this possible. And TV. And the sponsors who believed in us. The sponsors who've actually, for the past uh, several months, when uh, before, 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 it's a long story in Tawambia, but I really like to give a special thank you to Telcom Kenya for always coming through for us, and they support this show genuinely. They are, they are our sponsors, uh, over time, and right now they are pushing a product here, uh, one, one shillings and 50 cents, calls across all networks and not only that you only promotion that's what's in it for you you can call for as low as that but deep inside as in from this show na support tupatia is very very immense we cannot ignore that so shout out to them kabisa na very special thank you to our guests for this evening ku interview mse na mother yake on set na mama kevo pia she stepped out of a busy schedule to come be with us to complete the concept we wanted to achieve with this show asante ni sana so till next week Goodbye and God bless. My name is Dr. King Orisi. See you next week. Same time, same place.